Hey guys, Dan Jackson, aka Density Engineer here, business coach to tradesmen. Today, I just want to talk to you about what it's like coming back after traveling, being out of the system and getting back into the electrical industry, give you some updates of what I'm doing. But this morning, I'm going for a run. It's January, I am motivated to keep on that self-care regime. So I've got myself one of these for my phone. I feel like a bloody bouncer. I've got my Fitbit, I'm gonna go for a run, let's go. Just turn the light off. I've just realized it's been day. You know, after January, all the routine gets a bit messed up, so I've got to put all the rubbish up. It's a pretty muddy track, and I'm going down by the sea, so get pretty messy and it's pretty nippy today. I've got some training to do and there's a reason for it. So I'm gonna start running. Semi got my breath back. I thought I'd talk to you all, obviously, what this video is about. Oh, God, that's quite some mud. Beautiful area. So I'm living in Essex by the seaside. I love it here. I love it here. It's, it's good transport links into London. I do a lot of work in London. So I'm going to go through what it's like. So obviously, I was traveling for a year, and man, it was the best time. This time last year, I was in Australia. I was on the beaches, lived in a van for three months pretty much. Just bouncing beach to beach. It was such an amazing time. I've lived in yoga ashrams in India. I've bounced around India. I've been in Mexico. I've been robbed by police in Mexico. I've driven across Mexico. It's such a fantastic country. Road tripped California. Man, <laughs> loved California. It's so diverse from the desert, which was my favorite, Death Valley, loved it to Mammoth Lakes, which was chilly as hell, and it's only four hours away from Death Valley. Went to Vegas in Nevada. I've been to Barbados, the Caribbean. Um, where else have I been? God, there's so many places. Bali, oh my God, Bali is just paradise. Just, it's amazing food, the people are amazing, the beaches are amazing. So yeah, I've had a good time and come back to England during the summer. It was tough and me and my wife we actually split up and we come back for a bit of stability obviously to crack on with some work and go on to the next chapter so it's all positive it might seem bad obviously breaking up after spending so long with somebody and obviously traveling the world with that person but we're still great friends and there's no resentment there it's it's been a journey it's been a journey it's been great but i come back to the uk and a lot of people ask me am i going to be an electrician am i going to set up an electrical company the answer is no i've said this before in one of my previous videos it's, it's not what i want to do it's not what i want to do i enjoy i enjoy aspects of contracting but that ship has sailed for me so i do co coaching and consulting uh, i've got some big news coming up with my business that i've set up but before i get into that i'll i'll go talk more about what I do with my consultancy so essentially I go into electrical fire businesses not just them you know other services as well but obviously electrical and fire that's my background that's that's what I know and I help them develop their business and it could be marketing it could be management it could be leadership it could be structuring it could be operations it could be creating software to help things processes that are quicker and more efficient it's so many different things I work for one main company as my biggest client but obviously I've got multiple multiple different clients some people use me just for an hour a month some people want my services they want a day some people want 10 days you know also do freelance writing all to do with the the trade that we're in so you know that I've I do that I really enjoy writing I'm not the best, I was never the best at English language and lit literature, but do you know what, um, 
it just shows that if you if you want to do something and you put your mind to it you can do whatever you want to and so you know i get paid for writing that's crazy um all people also want my technical knowledge so I, I do a lot of fire alarm design and commissioning if people want that doing i will do it so that's what i'm kind of doing but really my business is being launched soon i'll talk to more about that in another video so i'm going to do a big launch about what that what that is all about so it's been tough coming back because I was living like a hippie lifestyle, literally. There's two sides of me, hippie Dan and machine Dan. And the hippie Dan in me just loved just not doing a great deal other than being surrounded by nature, similar to this, but obviously very different in much warmer <laughs> climate. And just being, just enjoying life. And I've worked my absolute arse off since I was in school. And I know we all have, but I just, I've worked so many hours, I've worked so hard, and I just needed some time out. And man, that, that really gave me the reboot, the refresh. And I think it's really important just to, if you're having a few problems in life, just to kind of stand back. And it's really difficult when, especially in contracting, you're in this operational cycle where, and it's the same as businesses, they're so busy of doing, getting the day-to-day the -day stuff done, they don't really plan ahead. They don't reflect on what's happened and they don't really plan ahead because they don't have time. And it's the same as what happens to us in life as well. We, we're just in this big cycle and it's really, really difficult to get out of. So I'm really grateful and feel blessed that I've been able to do that and had the experience that I have. And I'm young, like I'm 32. So I've got, I've got a lot in me. I've got a lot in me to, to do what I want to do, achieve what I want to achieve. And I ain't got anything to prove anymore, guys. Like I used to, it used to be like a, almost like a dick box thing in society. Get a house, get a cat, get married, get a business, sell the business, travel the world. I've done all that shit, done it all. So I've got nothing to prove. I'm just plodding along. I'm concentrating on my children, on my work and just enjoying things like this. Like I've got this whole day just to chill out and do what I want to do. I've got a few few tax things to do, which obviously are important, which I couldn't get done this week. But other than that, I'm doing some exercise and and uh, just enjoying today. I'm probably going to go to the cinema later. So my, my whole outlook is very different and I really encourage anybody to go traveling if you have the opportunity or make yourself the opportunity. I know a lot of people say to me, you know, that's never possible for me. And okay, some life expert, life circumstances it might not be but others like stop procrastinating just fucking get off your ass and do it man like it is so good and i think i've come back a new person i'm different i'm the way i see things is just so so different i've made so many new friends and i believe i can do anything i put my mind to when you're in a situation when you've got kids and you're traveling the world and you're going across mexico and you're hearing all this stuff how dangerous it is and it is dangerous but you realize you've done it, you've achieved that, and you, you've done things that most people have so much fear. Fear just prevents us, it blocks us from getting on. And Jesus Christ, like me and my, my ex, we just, we just go, we just wanna do what we wanna do, and we, we make things happen. And I'm so pleased I've got over that barrier in life of that whole fear factor. I'm so pleased I've got over that. So, I'm just so in so, I'm in a good place I've obviously with the separation there's been some ups and downs there's still there's still ups and downs in life I'm not going to pretend everything's rosy because it ain't but generally when I wake up in the morning I can feel refreshed to you know each morning's a new day and I can just crack on with what I want to and I know I can achieve what I want, want to I'm, I'm no stranger to hard graft and any tradesman out there tradesman like you know what hard work is you know what it's like you know what hard graft is using your hands using your body you know that you know you can do that but it's time to put your mind to something as well when you when you focus your body and your mind in something honestly what you can achieve is incredible and i love hearing stories from people as well who have just just do what they like they're in a bit of a rut and they just get out of that and they just do what they want to do and it just makes them happy. Just happiness is more important. To me, success is happiness rather than money. And it used to all be about the money. And I'll tell you a little story now about money. So I was in Barbados and went to this vegan cafe. And when I say vegan cafe, it's basically this woman's dining room. And I went in with my daughter and my daughter was kicking off. Um, she was having a bit of a rough day. So I managed to calm her down. And after the meal and everything, I went up to pay. I went to give her a tip. She didn't accept it. And she said, give me your hands. So she grabbed my hands and she said to me, um, 
I read you as soon as you came in. And I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, I just read your calm energy, which is quite weird because at the time I was, I was a bit, I was feeling a bit angry and stuff. And I was really trying with my daughter who was like struggling. And she looked at all my tattoos on my body. She looked like, um, you know, I've got tattoos dotted all over the place. And then she, one of them, the only one she said, she goes, she goes, what does that mean? And I said, it's in Hindi, it means success. And she said, what does success mean? And when I was 23, I got that done. And it was all about money, the big house, the cars, the success, the big business, the big ego. And I really hated that tattoo after a while. And I kind of rethought about what success means. And success to me means happiness, about just being happy. It's not about money, it's nothing to do with that. And I told her that. And then she said, look above your head. And there's a placard on the wall that said success, with pretty much exactly how I worded success and I was just freaked out. Anyway, that's just a little story. Right, I'm gonna carry on with my run, um, if I can, because it's so bloody muddy, I keep slipping over, I don't wanna break my neck. Um, anyway, I'll see you on another video. See you later.